Hi, today we cover the Massachusetts Library Association's annual conference, the Supernatural episode that aired on Friday, and Joan gets new fog lights, today on The Ramalog. Hi, I'm Nicole Murray and this is The Ramblog. On Thursday, I went to the Massachusetts Library Association's annual conference. I got to meet with people from Simmons College uh, who were promoting their masters in library arts as well as their masters in information systems. Um, I think that a lot of people assume that being a librarian has to do with basically checking out books and reading a lot. And although reading a lot is definitely a prerequisite, um, there's a lot more to it than that, and a lot of people that have directorships or have any kind of position in libraries actually do have masters in doing so. Uh, places like Simmons College, also URI, have programs um, for the masters there, and um, they're, they're very highly acclaimed programs. So I was just looking into those kind of things. Um, then I also checked out the Nook display with my mother. My mother's a librarian. So we both went over to the Nook display. Uh, one of the big things about Nook and the reason why we are, why Barnes & Noble would be at a librarian's convention is because the, because the libraries are now carrying um, e-books. So, so it's a brave new world out there. Um, now, I also got to meet with a couple of science fiction authors who were talking about the future of science fiction and also how the future has been different than we anticipated back, you know, 60 years ago when science fiction was in its heyday. Um, so one of those authors is, um, is John Scalzi. Here's one of his books, Old Man's War. Uh, he's written a few. This is just one of them. And then another author is Andrew Blum, and he is somebody who has written for Wired Magazine, and he also um, has recently written this book, Tubes. Uh, it is not out yet, so how exciting is that? So anyway, I got to, um, I got to listen to them talk about a little bit, and um, that was really, really fun. So uh, anyway, after the convention I also wanted to talk about Supernatural and the episode that aired on Friday night was um, the next to the last of the season it was episode 22 and there are 23 um, episodes this season. Uh, Crowley was back uh, being as full of flair as ever and the Alpha Vamp was back being even creepier than ever and uh, we got to see a new leather jacket on Dean. Bobby was getting a bit vengeful and that was just really scary that he actually took possession of somebody uh, but I thought that one of the things that really kind of stuck out for me um, on a personal level was this whole sucro corp and um, and the leviathans getting into the high fructose corn syrup uh, the reason why this seems like such a, a thing for me is just recently I've just become a lot more cognizant of what I'm eating so, um, you know, whether something's free range or uh, whether growth hormones are used or um, whether something is wheat or if it was white and, you know, bleached and if the nutrients were all taken out of it. Uh, I've just I've just become a lot more conscious about these things. And when Dean is holding the pie and he's saying, but it says all natural, it has to be good for me. And Sam gives him the, you know, the sad truth that no, that that's not necessarily true. And uh, it's it really seemed like a moment for me of, um, you know, art imitating life. Uh, this is something that as people we kind of sit complacently by a lot of times and we don't bother to become um, be, you know become motivated to really look at what we're eating and are we just drinking that Slurpee and not thinking about what it's doing to us and um, um, have we just kind of allowed ourselves to completely um, like be a hands-off approach and just accept that everything that is given to us is good for us and um, and, and how dangerous it is to do so. Um, but off my soapbox now on that, um, today I brought Joan to Honda to get her fog lights fixed and that was very, very interesting. Um, $244 later, Joan's all fixed up for now. Of course, they gave me some suggestions as to what I could do in the future. Uh, some of those are, um, you know, basically things that I need to buy that amount to about $1,000. So, anyway, there's probably more stuff going on in the future. So, anyway, a couple more things I want to bring up. I purchased this book, which um, is one of what um, Felicia Day is calling her a vagina fantasies books. So I'm checking that out. And just a couple things on here. Um, here are the Twitter addresses for the two um, authors that I met. And 
thank you for watching.